Hey, welcome back everyone, this is Bill. Um, I'm doing something a little bit different today and it's because I've been buying um, long stored cans of food, that, mostly protein based, that I can stack in my pantry and a lot of it I've been getting from China and some other places and at a pretty decent price, you know, for stuff that goes out to 2025 and beyond. And the interesting thing is, is I want to buy more of it, but not until I actually find out if I like it, right? So you, you buy what you eat. So this actually probably came from Indonesia. And if you can see, it's a little can of chicken and potato curry. And it's good till September 25. And we're also going to try some Yeo's beef curry, which is good till uh, May 25. We got pork leg in mushroom. This is a big can here. And this is good until October 24. And then we just have what looks like pork. And this pork, this particular can is good until October 20, 2025. So I'm gonna open all these. I'm gonna pour them into these bowls that I will show you here in one second. Let me lower this for you. And we're gonna see what they look like. And then I'm gonna decide if we're gonna need to heat these up or not. So let's try this first can. All right. Let me set this aside. Let me smell this here. It smells like um, pork and beans, I guess, is probably the best way. There's a lot of liquid in here. All right, but once the liquid's out, the can's empty, you can see that it's actually pretty good sized chunks of uh, pork in here. So that's interesting. That's good protein right there. All right, so that was the stewed pork from China. Let's look at this pork leg and mushroom. Let me back up my camera just a little bit here so you guys can see. I'll get close-ups of each of these in a minute. Pork leg and mushroom. Um, yeah, you can smell mushroom and then uh, spices. Like, uh, right off the lid, a piece of bay leaf fell in there, so it's obviously spiced pretty well. Um, okay, pork leg and mushroom. It's looking very similar to the other one, but it's interesting because there is bone in here. So this one has boned as well as the leg meat, it looks like. It looks like pretty good meat in there and some more bones. I don't see a lot of mushroom. I saw one or two at the beginning. All right, so here's a mushroom, two mushrooms. All right, so we got two big mushrooms, I think, and a lot of pork, surprisingly, a good amount of pork in there. All right, let's see what we're looking at here. Now let's try one of these smaller cans of beef curry. Oh, this doesn't look as good. Let's see. Uh, it smells definitely um, beefy. But let's see how it looks here. All right, it, there's one chunk of potato and some tiny pieces of meat there, if you can see that. So one chunk of potato and I guess beef in the curry. There's a closer look at these other two pork products here. All right, so Yao's meat curry. Actually, I'm not sure if I like that with the look or smell or not. All right. So the last one we're gonna do here is the chicken curry. It's the exact same company. And you know what? They did the exact same here. So now here I can definitely see bones. So that's gonna turn me off. I'm not gonna to wanna to order this because what I'm looking at right here is chicken with bones. Uh, yeah, there's little pieces of bone in here. I can see it. And uh, one piece of mystery potato again, interesting. 
All right, so those are the four things I want to try today. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, some friends to come up and we're going to get some rice and we'll do a taste test and see which one is worth investing more money in. So stand by, I'll be right back with you in two seconds. Actually, you're kind of in it. So you had the up close pictures already. So this is uh, Marcus and Forey back again. You guys know Forey, let me raise this just a little bit. And I'm gonna have them tell me their honest opinion of each one of these. Now I think I know which ones I'm gonna like more than the other. So let's see what they have to say. All right, so you guys just truck on in. You gonna try it first with rice or just without rice first? Try without rice. Try without rice first. Well, your eyes crunched up, so I'm not sure if that's a good feeling or a confused feeling. Is it not good? Is it pork? It tastes like soy sauce and pork. I mean, it's saltier than I expected. Salty? It's like so smooth, just like a pudding. So it's soft, extremely yeah. soft. So. But so how's the taste? Uh, for me, it's not bad. You didn't like it. Okay, that's, like well, that's, it. that's good. Because it looks better than I thought. <laughs> and Marcus? I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was great. I've had canned pork before that was really good. Okay. So we're thinking this is survival food only. If it's the apocalypse, we'll eat this shit. Our stuff. All right. So let's try this pork leg one. Let's try this one here. Or did you want to try the other one with rice? Or are you just like, no, no don't, don't, like even, don't even like it. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. It's, uh, it's nice. Now uh, this one has bones in it. Right? Yeah. So it does have bones in this one here. So this is the pork leg with mushroom. So be careful. So I'm gonna try it without the rice, okay? Mm. Well, you got a mmm sound, so that's that's better than we. That's better than the uh, the other one. Yeah, much better than this. So I this, like this one. You like this one? Mm -hmm. You'd eat this for lunch if it was given to you. Yeah, it's sweeter and has better texture. Yeah. Okay. And it's interesting because it just has a nicer looking can too. But uh, visually, it does look a little bit better. So this one you don't even want to eat. This will go to the dogs. <laughs> All right, so I'm not gonna order any more of that. It's good to know. Pork leg, I can order some more of. This stuff's good. Yeah. And the juice is good too and the whole, okay. You don't need rice or? Probably even better with rice. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> That's a big ass bone there. Yeah, just watch for some bones. I think you got one on the back side of your spoon there. You got a bone in there, Marcus? Mm -hmm. Good stuff? Mm -hmm. All right, so I know to buy the pork Good leg with rice. mushroom. Good with rice. All right, well, let's move on to the other ones that I just got in and I'm not too sure about, but let's try this, the beef curry with potato, which doesn't have bones. And then we'll try the chicken curry with potatoes and the chicken curry has bones. So I know already I'm not going to uh, order again the chicken. Beef, baka. Baka and sakari, kari kari. So it's a brown curry or yellow curry? Well, I guess we'll find out. Is it sweet? Smell like toes? Green curry? It kind of tastes like uh, chili meat, like canned chili meat. Like can yeah, like over-processed canned chili meat. So, yeah. so the the curry you're not getting it at all, or? Oh, well, it's got curry in there. It's a little spicy. I don't know. What did you think? It's more like 
a beef stew than this. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's, it's more like a beef stew yeah. chili versus a meat curry. Mm. It definitely has a canned flavor. Any, it's not ideal. You don't like it that much? The texture of the meat isn't great either. Okay. So, so far, these are two losers that not to buy more of. We only got one winner in the pork leg so far. Now, just because we have it, even though I'm not going to buy it, let's go ahead and try and see if this... The curry actually looks like a good curry. It's just the chicken doesn't look appealing just to... chunks of bone. It yeah, it, it really... Let me get a closer look at this, just so you guys don't see that. There's just a, a lot of bone. Chicken beans. Chicken bones and curry sauce. <laughs> The curry didn't look that bad. Bones, huh? It's a little spicier. For you? You're using rice to cover up the taste, or is it just... <laughs> So you like this the curry itself, which actually yeah. looks like a decent curry. Ooh, it is such a kick to it. But the chicken itself is pretty Yeah, the, much more bones. It's better just to buy a can of curry mix and add it to fresh chicken than to try to deal with a bunch of chicken bones. Alright, so just because my personal preference, I'm not gonna go with this one at all. And you guys said this is beef stew and it wasn't really meat curry. So I'm not going to do that one. And the pork stew over here you said was not that good also, right? Yeah. The only one you guys actually said you really liked was the pork leg with mushrooms. All right. Yeah. All right, so I'll let you guys take that and you guys can eat that if you're hungry. And I guess we'll just toss these two, unless you want the potatoes. And then, uh, yeah. I think the other one will go to the dog. So that, there we are, See, this is why I do this. I bought six cans of each to test, um, and now I know three of the four items I bought is not really uh, something I'd wanna eat or anybody else would want to eat. I mean, maybe in a crisis. But since we do have something that was the clear winner, the pork leg and mushroom, and there will be a link below to all four of these in the description um, and the price of what I paid for them. I will get some more of that, and I'll stock the shelves with that. And now I know, and now you know. Thanks again, if you like this kind of content, hit that smash, or smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Share this video if you have anybody that wants to know about this kind of stuff as well. And I thank you for watching all the way to the end. Have a good day.